Meanwhile, back in March. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. Good morning. How you doing? My name is Jay. And I'm not here with my girl, Tanisha. <laughs> but uh, we sitting on the tree. And pretty much... We are documenting our long distance relationship for those who are new and for the, those that has been supporting us. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, today is going to be a, today's a day that I get my vaccine. I've been pulling it off for a very long time, you know, because uh, me and T was going back and forth and. You know, we decided that, uh, eh, you know, let's see, let's see how it rolls out. We decided to go ahead and get the vaccine. So the cool part about it is that we was able to, to sign up for it a day ago. I think it was yesterday. And guess what? Me and Tanisha got the same date for the, the vaccine. That's, she's my vaccine sister. And uh, our second vaccine is at the same date too. That's on April first. Yeah, so you know, gotta go, gotta do it. I'm, I'm on first online, so you know, I'm always around people. Even though when I'm working, you know, I work in the hospital, uh, I do Uber, as most people know that I do Uber for a side hustle. And uh, and I have another gig, I have another job for security. So you know, I'm, I'm exposed to a lot of people, and I'm very blessed that, you know, I'm, I'm, I stood healthy, I haven't gotten sick, so I'm very really blessed on that, very really, uh, grateful on that, and that's pretty much it, you know, for today, so I'm, I'll be back. Right, Woo, hey y'all, hey, 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 so today, all right, y'all know Jay told y'all the story, so let me tell y'all the story. This vaccine, originally, I wasn't like gonna get it or you know too what's the word eager to get it right and that's that so now the vaccine is out and right now I think for most places it's like you have to be of a certain age like over a certain age to get it however with my company they are offering it to us I'm not a medical worker or or a teacher or anything like that but we do have access to it and so Jay and I you guys know he and I have been traveling all through this pandemic we've been going to a lot of local places we first started off in March when everything first shut down we were on a cruise when everything shut down and um, we went to like some islands Aruba Curacao Bonaire that was amazing there were no incidents it was absolutely wonderful best cruise ever and coming back, we continued our regimen of um, going someplace at least once a month. But for that first four months, I stayed with him in Miami. And everything was pretty much shut down in Miami. But y'all know things are opening back up. Things have been opened back up. And so there's a lot of places that we can go within the United States of America. And so we've been places like... Of course, back and forth to Miami. I've been taking planes back and forth there. Um, he's been coming here in the D.C. metro area. And we went to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we have just been continuing to live our lives with precautions. And the precautions being making sure we wash our hands often. Making sure that we wear our mask when in public with groups of people. And that sort of thing. But we've been continuing to eat out. We've been continuing to visit places. We've been continuing to see our friends and our family um, without incident. Um, with all that being said, me and him, we still plan to continue to live our lives traveling and interacting with the world. How do I feel about getting vaccinated? I don't feel one way or the other. I feel like I'm protected. I just feel like it's just an extra layer of um whatever and i feel like either way it goes in my life all is well right i was in the military and in the military we had to be vaccinated for all the things i don't even know what i was being vaccinated for because i didn't have a choice and it was like basically roll up your sleeves 
walked on the line, bam, bam, bam. Like we were just being shot up with stuff. And I survived. All is well. I had no issues. And that's how I feel about my choice to be vaccinated. I don't expect to have any issues. And I don't, I'm not a fearful person, so I don't live with fear. So I don't have fear one way or the other. I don't have fear that if I don't get vaccinated, oh my goodness, something's going to happen. And I don't have fear that if I do get vaccinated, oh my goodness, something's going to happen. No. So while I'm vlogging, might as well, right? As you know, a lot of good things happen. Um, so I had one of my employees... She went to Jamaica and she brought me a present. I just bumped into her in the, in the garage. So, so I got, uh, I don't even know what I got, but it's a bottle, you know, straight from Jamaica. It's probably some Jamaica. Oh, some rum bar, rum cream. Woohoo! She got me. That's good. And then she got me some, uh, I don't know what is this, Magnum. Tonic wine. Yeah, so just wanted to share that with you guys. So yeah, I'm here. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah, I'm getting a vaccine in a hotel. <laughs> but uh, I believe uh, look at that. Look at that. I got enough parking over here. Just checking the temperature. Okay, I already just got the shot. Now uh, they're gonna put me in observation for 15 minutes. So I gotta see somebody, I gotta sit down for 15 minutes. They put a time on mine at uh, 927, so 15 minutes after that, I can go home. Well, go back to work. I don't have a fever or I don't pass out, whatever the case is. So. <laughs> but they said it's going to be a little soreness, probably, a little fever. That's about it. Well, that's it. So, pretty much. Uh, you got the two vaccines that's out. I got the Pfizer and, uh, the other one, I forgot the name of it. It starts with an M, Modell or something like that. And, uh, Maduro. Yeah, I think it's Maduro or something. And so they had a separate lines. So the people were coming for the second doses. They, um, a lot of them was coming for the other one. Yeah, so it was good. It didn't hurt. It was fast. It's a little shot, you know. Uh, I feel fine so far. I'm trying to look for some food right now. And uh, that's about it. I got to come back on April 1st at 9 in the morning to get my second dose. And I'll be finished with this COVID-19 vaccine. All right, y'all. So vaccination part one, done, son. So I got my vaccination. All was well. All was well. No, nothing, nothing to see here, guys. Um, after he, they asked you which arm do you want it in. And of course, they recommend that the arm that you use the most. That way you can move it around and stuff and it doesn't get stiff. But your girl did some push-ups right after she got her shot. I was like, oh, can I do some push-ups? They was like, oh, if you want. So I did my push-ups because I told you, right, when I was in the military, every time we got vaccinated, we did push-ups to get it to move around and circulate through our system so that it wouldn't localize in one area. When it localizes in one area, that's what causes the stiffness and the soreness and, um, and sometimes the redness and the swelling if it localizes so you just try to do some push-ups to get it to just circulate and move around so i did some push-ups on my knees i don't know if i did enough of them i only did like um four of them why didn't i do five why didn't i do five i don't know all right knock my earring out oh oh i didn't knock it out it broke lord okay y'all so today is the day that we are going to get our second vaccination shot. Yeah, 
Okay, Jay already got his. I think he got his like at nine this morning. My appointment is at eleven thirty. It's eleven ten right now. Just left the post office, mailing off some book orders. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. So in the meantime, going to get my second vaccination shot. Celebrity Cruise Ships has put out that when they start their cruising back in June, inshallah, inshallah, that one of the requirements is that you have to be 100% vaccinated. I kind of felt like that was going to be the case to, with travel. And so I just wanted to put us in a, in a um, position where we're ready. We're ready. Jay works in a hospital and I believe his floor right now is a COVID floor. So, you know. It doesn't hurt, but like I said, I'm not putting a whole lot of faith in that it's the answer either. Stay woke. Stay woke, y'all. And do what's best for you in your life. That's all I can say. Do what's best for you. Make your own decisions on your own accord. Let me go in here and get my vaccination. Oh, in the meantime, <coughs> I got my weights because... I told y'all I'll do push-ups after I get vaccinated to help it pump go through my body but I realized but I was like this time I'm also gonna have some weights in the car so that way I can um do some weights while I'm waiting all right y'all I will talk to y'all later bye okay I forgot to come back up here got my shot so I feel fine of course I've been lifting my weight and um, I'm going to go in the office. I'm going to do some push-ups and stuff when I get in the office. I'm going to do some more push-ups. I figure I'm going to do them throughout the day. I'm going to do them throughout the day, the day because I know I hear people say with the second shot um, that people have been experiencing, they've experienced more symptoms from the second shot, whether it's more soreness or more fatigue, things like that. So I'm going to combat that by doing some push-ups. Does that make sense? We'll see. We'll see. Hey guys, it's like three in the morning, but I just wanted to get up here real quick just to say, who y'all, like my arm is sore, right? But I am freezing. It's like my teeth are chattering right now. And if I feel my body though, my body is hot. <sighs> I had to get up. I had to get some socks on. I got all my, I got the heat up to 72. Well, I had already had the heat up to 72, which is what it is normally. And, um, I'm cold. And so I guess, I don't know, maybe it's a side effect, but I'm, I'm cold and, but I'm hot. Like I'm not hot. Like I feel hot. Like my legs and stuff, they're like, like hot. <laughs> Mm, good morning, y'all. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me too close because you might, I don't know, turn into a frog or something. But oh, I'm here. It is Friday. I'm home from work. As y'all can see, I am in this bed. It was a, it wasn't a rough night. It wasn't rough. It was just not comfortable. Like I could not get warm and I was cold, but yet my body was hot and I did my temperature. My temperature um, this morning was 99.3. Normally, my temperature reads at like 97 point something. So I knew that when I go to work, we have um, the things that you have to walk through that do your temperature. So I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to make it through the temperature check. So and then also I had like a little headache this morning. And I was just still feeling hot and cold. But I'm feeling better now. I don't feel hot and cold anymore. I don't think I do. I mean, I'm still wrapped up in a blanket. And my arm is actually better. Like, it's not as sore as it was yesterday, last night. So I'm just sitting here recovering. I've um, emailed my job. Because y'all know. I mean, I could work from home, but I was like, I'm just not even. Okay. So now they have something called FFCRA. What does that stand for? Families First Coronavirus Response Act. 
so they have that. So I'm able to use that to pay for my time for today. Um, and basically you can use it for, if your company is signed up with this, you can use it for if you was going to get the vaccine, the vaccination, and you can use it for recovery after the vaccination. And so that's what I'm using it for today, recovery after the vaccination, because I did have some some um, symptoms as far as an increased temperature, shivering, and cold chills. I guess that's called chills. Um, did I say fever? Did I say slight fever? I don't remember what I said. Um... Of course, the ache in the arm, which I could have worked through that. That's fine. And I feel like I had an ache in my hip, too. The same side that I got the shot on, it felt like that leg, that hip area was affected, too. Um, and what else? As far as Jay's concerned, he feels fine. I thought he said he was going to text me list of possible side effects or symptoms because I didn't take none of that information because I was like I'm a G I don't get sick I don't need to know and then look at me now look at me now look at me now I'm getting paper also all right my head still hurt a little bit but I don't feel as hot no more. My skin doesn't feel hot the way it was feeling last night and earlier this morning. That's it, y'all. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Talk to us in the comments. Thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all night